So now that we can sign in users and show their profiles, the next thing to do is think about how we can allow them to log out. And what we essentially want to do here is basically destroy that cookie that gets deserialized giving the user objects anytime they load a page. So remember in the profile pug page, I had this uh, root right here to slash logout. And um, if I go to uh, this page right here, um, this logout right here, you might think that it will root to slash profile slash logout since this just says logout. But since we're using express, if we just use a slash like this, it will make sure that all the roots go from the base root of the app. So if I hover over this with my mouse cursor, you can see that in the bottom left corner, it just says localhost 3000 slash logout and not localhost 3000 slash profile slash logout. So what we essentially want to do is when they click this link, um, we want to make sure that we set up a route for the slash logout, which then destroys that cookie. So what we want to do is in server.js, we just want to say app.get, and it's just going to be a get root, and it's slash logout. I'm just going to double check that it is logout and not sign out. Yep, yeah, that's fine. And we want to set up a middleware function here, which takes in request and response like this. So the way we can uh, log out a user is in the request passport when we've mounted it for, since we mounted passport um, dot initialize for all requests, um, we have a method in the added to the request called logout. And what this logout method essentially does is it removes the user from the request and it clears the session. So it clears that cookie right there. So um, so what we want to do here is we'll say request dot logout like this. And like I said before, it will then clear the cookie containing our user ID, um, which will make which will mean that um, Whenever we're loading pages that require sign in, this is authenticated will fail because there's no cookies and it will just be redirected to the base route to the sign in again. So that's that's what that will do. And the final thing we just want to do is we want to say response dot redirect, and we just want to redirect them to um, just the base route right there once they've logged out. So let's try that now. So I'm gonna just um, remove, restart the server again, and um, what I'm just gonna do is sign in as Steve and then put the password. And we have this welcome Steve right here. And if I were to keep refreshing this page, you can see that the profile page keeps loading like this. That's because we're signed in. And if I could just go ahead and click this log out button, the session um, right here has been destroyed. I know there's a cookie still there, but um, the contents have been erased. And um, we've been redirected back to the base route. And if I go back to the slash profile route, we can see that um, the cookie, the user ID in the cookie doesn't exist. So we've just been, this authentication has failed. And we've just been redirected back to the base route. Another thing that I wanna quickly cover is um, what to do when we don't have a page. And that's why we have to send out a 404 not found. And the way we can do that is we can at the very bottom after all our other routes, we can say app.use like this. And we can create a middleware function like this. And remember that the express will execute routes in the order that they're presented. So whenever we go into a route, and if if at the very if we get down to here and we haven't set up a route for that, it means that there isn't a route for that, and they've just entered um, a wrong route. Um, what we can do here is we can just um, send out a 404. Again, this will only happen if. Express will look through all the other routes first and make sure that there isn't a route. And if that's the case, and there we don't have a route for whatever they've typed in, then we'll run this middleware. And we can say response.status here and then send out a status. And we can just say 404 like this. And also you can say um, dot .type here. And we can just set this to text. So this will send out a text response as well. So it allows us to send it in a HTML or a text response. If it was a HTML, for example, we could say you could send a not found page. But we just want to send some text. So we'll just say dot send like this. And we just want to send the text uh, not found like this. So if we save that now, and I go into the app, um, once again, I'm going to restart the server and I go to some random route like this 
and press enter, we can see that we've returned not the text and not found right here, which is what we wanted. And if we look at um, the network page, we can see that an error 404 right here has been returned. And this will be the case for any route that we don't have exist. So any route that's not um, profile or it's not the base route. So if I put something like slash, um, I don't know, activity, or something like that, we can see it always returns 404 not found like this. Um, I don't think this text part is actually necessary. We could just do 404 and send. So that's all we're going to do um, in this challenge. So the first thing we want to do is we have this root to slash logout to log out the user. So we need to set up a root for that. So down here, I'm just gonna say app.get and then the get root is slash logout. And we want to run um, a middleware function here. So that's request and response. And what we want to do is, the first thing we want to do is destroy the session or destroy the cookie. And to do that, we can just say request dot uh, logout like this. Um, just going to double check. Yeah, we just have a capital O there. And then the final thing we want to do is just redirect them back to the base route. So we can say response dot redirect. And we just want to redirect them back to the base route where our sign in page is. And we also want to set up our um, middleware function for 404 not found. And what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to copy this because I can't be bothered to type it out again. And I, I will, of course, explain it. Um, so remember that this will once again only execute if there isn't a root. So it'll check through all the previous code first to see if there's a root. And if it's not the case, then it will finally come down to here and it will send a 404 not found like this. So that should be everything we need to do here. Um, so I'm going to submit it and then see what errors come up and then we'll try and solve those. Um, logout should be called in your logout root. Um, just a quick second. I'm just going to check the uh, source code again. Slash rec dot logout. Um, okay, I think this is because I have a capital O here. So maybe I was wrong and you don't need a capital O. Um, yeah, I was wrong there. Um, for some reason, it corrected it when I did it here. So I was, yeah, basically I was wrong. That's all I can say. Um, if you submit that now, no, that still fails. Um, literally just figured out what was wrong actually. Um, it's because I was using a request and response here and not rec and rest like they used in the example. And the line, it's being marked to check for rec.logout while I've used a uh, request.logout. So just make sure you change this rec and uh, re request and response to rec and rest. And then if you submit that now, we can see that it passes. So again, my bad.